Hey class, uh, we are still doing ancient Mesopotamia and today we are talking about science, inventions, and technology. Uh, the Mesopotamians invented a whole lot of things that we still use today. They invented the wheel, they invented writing, we write, right? Uh, uh, they invented government. So, you know, we have a government too. So these are some of the things we're talking about today. We're going to talk about the science, inventions, and technology from Mesopotamia. So uh, it brought a lot of important advances in the area of science and technology, like I said before. If you look right here, you know, they had the wheel. Uh, we have a car. What does our car have on it? It has four wheels, right? Uh, they had writing. They had government. They had many different things that they invented and it brought a lot of advances. Ancient Mesopotamia, science, inventions, and technology. The civilizations of ancient Mesopotamia have brought many important advances in the area of science and technology. Uh, one of the most important advances was the invention of writing by the Sumerians. We talked about the Sumer last week. The Sumerians were the first to write and their, their writing, like I said, was a little bit different from ours, okay? We write on paper, we write different things. All these, that they had symbols and they had different uh, marks that they made in the in what was clay at the time. It was clay, and when it would harden, they'd have a tablet or something. Uh, it looked like this in the picture. Uh, but with the invention of that, it came Hammurabi's code, which was laws. All right, uh, and the epic tale of Gilgamesh. And uh, so they, these were very important things that we still, we still use today. Writing, perhaps the most important advance made by the Mesopotamians was the invention of writing by the Sumerians. With the invention of writing came the first recorded laws called Hammurabi's Code, as well as the first major piece of literature called the Epic Tale of Gilgamesh. All right, so one of the oldest things discovered was found in Mesopotamia was the wheel. And if you look right here, this is what they found this in Mesopotamia. It's, it's round, it's wheel. I mean, they used it at, probably for wagon, probably for, uh, for pottery and for chariots, all right, around 3200 BC. So, it's very old, uh, uh, it was around 3500 BC when they, or when they think this one was made. The wheel. Although archeologists don't know for sure who invented the wheel, the oldest wheel discovered was found in Mesopotamia. It's likely the Sumer first used the wheel in making pottery in 3500 BC and then used it for their chariots in around 3200 BC. So uh, one of the things they did, this is the sundial here, uh, they divided time up by 60s, including a 60 second minute and a 60 minute hour. Well, we still use that today. Uh, if, you, if you look at your clock, uh, every minute goes by, it's 60 seconds in a minute, and it's 60 minutes in one hour. So, uh, and they also divided up the circle into 360 degrees, and we use that still today. So many, many things that, the, this is for mathematics, many things uh, they, that they use, that many inventions, I can't stress this enough, that they, that they use, we still use today. We, we've just added on to that. Mathematics. The Mesopotamians used a number system with the base 60, like we use base 10. They divided time up by 60, 60s, including a 60 second minute and a 60 minute hour, which we, we still use today. They also divided up the circle into 360 degrees. So they had formulas for figuring out a circumference. You know, some evidence suggests that, that they even knew the Pythagorean theorem before P Pythagoras wrote it down. All right, uh, they discovered a number of pi and and figuring the circumference of a circle. I'm not, I'll get into all of that. But this right here would uh, would be their idea of the Pythagorean theorem. And if you can see right here, it, it's it's over here on, on the tablet. So that's, that's evidence to suggest that it, that it is. Uh, Mathematics continue. The Mesopotamians 
had formulas for figuring out the circumference and area for different geometric shapes like the rectangles, circles, and triangles. Some, some evidence suggests that they even knew the Pythagorean theorem long before Pythagoras wrote it down. They may have even discovered the number for pi in figuring the circumference of a circle. All right. So they, and then they did astronomy. Astronomy is the study of the stars, okay? One major achievement was the ability to predict the movements of several planets. They're studying the stars and the planets, and they were able to predict how they were going to move, all right? It took logic, it took mathematics, and a scientific process for all this. They were doing this way before some of the earliest recorded. You know, last year we went over, over the... Uh, the era, era of Galileo and all that. And, and they were doing this way before then. So, I mean, it, it's pretty amazing. Astronomy. Using their advanced math, the Mesopotamian astronomers were able to follow the movements of stars, planets, and moon. One major achievement was the ability to predict the movements of several planets. This took logic, mathematics, and scientific profit process. All right, so, and they studied the phases of the moon. You know, there's different phases in the moon. There's, uh, you know, you got the quarter moon, you got a half moon, you've got the full moon. There's all different stages of the moon. All right, they created, by studying these phases, they created the first calendar. It had 12 lunar months. They had 12 months in it. All right, uh, it was the predecessor for both the Jewish and the Greek calendars, which is pretty impressive. Studying the phases of the moon, the Mesopotamians created the first calendar. It had 12 lunar months and was the predecessor for both the Jewish and the Greek calendars. All right, so they made a lot of technolo technological discoveries, like I said, all right? They even, and I've talked about this already in the first two, two lessons we went over, they used irrigation to get water for their crops from the river, the, the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, all right? And some of the later inventions, you know, they made, they used metal, iron, they used bronze to make strong tools and weapons, and they used looms to weave, weave cloth for wool. So they, they, they did a whole bunch of stuff with science, with math, with technology, uh, and with inventions uh, to better their society, to better civilization. And a lot of this stuff's been passed down from them to us that, that we still use today. Technology. The Mesopotamians made many technological discoveries. They were the first to use the potter's wheel to make better pottery. They used irrigation to get water to their crops. They used bronze metal and later iron metal to make strong tools and weapons and they used looms to weave cloth from wool. All right, so we got our comprehension questions. Uh, what was one of the most important advances made by the Mesopotamians? Was it A, writing, B, laws, or C, government? It is A, writing. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. That's one of the most important advances was writing because we still, without writing, you write everything down now. Everything's recorded. All history's recorded. That's how we know about this stuff. History's been recorded. Uh, we write down stuff every single day. So writing is very important. That's one of the most important advances made by Mesopotamia. All right. What invention helped the Mesopotamians in making pottery and on their chariots? A, was it math? B, the wheel? Or C, calendar? Which one, which one do you think it is? I think it is B, the wheel. Ding, ding, ding. We the wheel, they used the wheel to make the pottery and make the stuff out of it. And then they later used that same wheel to, on their chariots so they could get around as transportation, like we use it on our cars. Number three, what did Mesopotamians invent that is still used today? A, numbers, B, time increments, or C, addition? A, time increments. I mean, B, I'm sorry, I said A. B, time increments. B, time increments, they used the 60 second. We still use, we still have that in our, in our second. We have 60 seconds in one minute, and then we have 60 minutes in one hour. They, they invented that, and it's still used today. Number four, what did Mesopotamians invent by studying the phases of the moon? What did they invent? 
something important. We we've, we've got one today, and it's not theirs. It's a, it's a version of theirs though. A the calendar, B math, or C writing. What they invent that studied the phases of the moon? It was A the calendar. Ding ding ding! We have a winner. Calendar is what they invented by studying the phases of the moon. We and we have a version of that today. Like I said, what did they use to get water to their crops? Was it A the calendar, B laws? Or C, irrigation. It's C, irrigation. Ding, ding, ding. They took the water yeah, from the Euphrates and Tigris rivers and used them, they, they channeled them in and used them to, for their crops. So, all right, uh, I will be back with our next lesson. It's gonna, it's gonna talking about the ziggurats and uh, it's like a big step pyramid. Uh, we've, we've gone over Egypt last year, if you were in my class, so, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that and they were huge and you know so we will uh i will see you on the next lesson you all have a good day